Super quick review video on exponent law number one, multiplying like bases. These are like bases because it's a two and a two. If it was a, a different number, I could not do this. But what does two to the power two means? It means two times two. What does two to the power three mean? Two times two times two. How many twos am I multiplying? Well, I'm multiplying two, I'm multiplying three. I'm really just multiplying five of them. And that's where we can see that Hey, if I got 2 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of 3, it's just like 2 to the power of 5. And that, that is simplifying. It's not evaluating. If I want to evaluate, I go one next number, and I see what 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is. Okay? Now, x to the power of 4 and x to the power of 5, they are also like bases. Therefore, I have 4 of them. I got 5 of them. I've got 9 of them. And that's why we can say, summarizing the first law, that when multiplying like bases, I add the exponent, and this is how you show it with symbols. a to the m times a to the n is equal to a to the m plus n. I don't fully use it this way. I just kind of see how many numbers there are multiplying, and I add them. Um, so here it goes. Here's an example. 2 a to the power of 3, everything to the power of 3, and 4 a to the power of 2. Okay, I'm going to start with the first bracket because Bedman says I need to do brackets first. So 2 to the power of 3, that's 8, right? 2 is 2 times 2 times 2. It's not 6, it's 8. And 8 to the power of 3 is just 8 to the power of 3. That gets multiplied by 4 to the power of 2, which is 16, and 8 to the power of 2. And now i got to collect like bases. So first I'm going to do 8 times 16. And because I can multiply in any order, so 8 times 16 is 128, according to my calculator. And then I have a to the power of 3 and a to the power of 2. Those are like bases, therefore this is a to the power of 5, final answer.